Hello and welcome back to Minecraft with Harry Potter here. Now, in my adventure map, which is where we are now, one of my adventure maps at least, I want to use the Ovo Rustic Texture Pack. I just want it to be used so that it's a better game experience for people playing the map. But as you may be aware, the 1.5 and later updates basically render most texture packs useless because they're all incompatible because of the way it's formatted now. It used to be that all the item textures and block textures were kept on a single file and the game knew how to split the file up into different blocks by designating certain regions of the texture to certain blocks. But now they changed it so that basically each block has its own image file. So, what you could do is you could get an image editing program, take the original picture, the original terrain file, and cut out every bit of the terrain file, each region that sort of represents each block, and then make a new file yourself, and then, oh god, it's, it's, it's a process, alright, it, it, it will take you a long time, especially if you've got these HD texture packs like such, not any fun, but anyway, there's a really quick and easy way of doing it. it. Took me a little bit of time to figure it out, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. And it's basically using the unstitcher tool from Dinnerbone. Now I don't know if this is going to actually be implemented into the game at a later date, making this tutorial a bit useless. But anyway, I want to do it for the time being until they can actually do this in the game. If that ever happens, I'm not too sure. Anyway, let's get straight to it. So. You're going to save and quit out of Minecraft. I don't think you actually have to quit the game. But you're going to need to go to the link in the video description. And you'll be taken to the wiki on the, the wiki for Minecraft. And I'll send you to the texture pack sort of area of the wiki. Um, and there you will find a download link. I, I might try and include the download link in the description if I can. But you need to down, download the unstitcher.jar file. Now, if you have WinRAR or 7-zip, it's going to come across as a sort of file that's going to be run by that. So if I double-click this to try and run it, as you can see, it's going to open up the jar file and allow me to tamper with it. But I don't want to tamper with it. I actually want to run it. So the way you do that is you go and you right-click on it. You go down to open with and you find Java platform CE binary. If you don't have that, just go to choose default program and search for it. So you're going to click on that, open it up, and you're going to make sure you're running the right version of um, Java. Otherwise, this isn't going to work. It's not going to come up with this box here. That was a problem I was having. So, in order to do that, just make sure that you navigate again with the choose default program and find the right version of Java. So that's just something to be wary of. But anyway, let's find something to bring back. Sfax text pack, well that doesn't actually do anything, I'm pretty sure I broke that. Um, Wind Waker, Creeper Pack, I'll do the Creeper Pack. That's just a custom text pack I made a long time ago. Anyway, as you see, big long line of text saying that it's cutting out the various items and whatnot and then it says you're done pretty nicely and if we go to our options our texture pack as you can see it says converted creeper pack you can click on that click done and let's go to this now as I mentioned this texture pack is pretty much default the one thing that is different is the reason I made this. I'll just show you guys this real quick. Um, I think it's quite cool. But as you can see, if it doesn't know the texture, it will just basically put it in place for what it should be. This is why it's called the creeper pad, by the way. <laughs> it's a giant creeper head with all the right colors. Yes, I got rather bored. Anyway. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you had a like rating, it would be much appreciated. 
and I hope you can find the right things and if you have any questions then leave them in the comment section below I'm always happy to answer as many questions as you want also ratings and suggestions for future videos are always helpful so that's all for today I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time